Hello, I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel, which is about Twin Flame Ascension and all related things. How are you? So I want to tell you something. Your twin, they're not getting it because you know how they get it. They get it through you, through the body. We are in a thing called the evolution of love. Okay, so what does this mean? It means that you're able to experience things that have never been experienced in your physical lives before here at this ground level. And yet collectively, we have lifted up to a level where it makes it much more conducive to people. A lot of people criticize their twin or they'll even criticize a false twin going like, they don't get it. What do I have to do? Clunk them over the head. No, you have to love, but you have to do it by engaging your 5D parts. Not your mouth. Your mouth is for kissing. Not your mind. Your mind is for doing work here at your physical level. You have to use your heart, but not just like an earth level egoic heart. Okay, just like we're not using the ego mind, we're not using the ego emotional body. You have to engage your high heart your sacred heart, which is the 5D level connections that come into your body. And there are specific reflexology points that trigger your marma points open. I know this because I teach it. What else is evolving? What is evolving is being able to use your light body, being able to feel your light body, being able to let the love heal you, being able to get rid of old patterns that no longer serve you, being able to get rid of conflicts, being able to swing around your situations, your people, and the things that you truly need for your life, not just your needs and necessities, but the things you'd love to experience. What is that? Is it travel? Is it traveling together? Recently, in my most recent webinar, I, I did an exercise with people, and one woman was like, ooh, he wants to travel the world with me. Well, that's pretty, you know, that's a broad scope. Where first? Okay. It was lady's choice, but where first? Okay. And these are the things that you set it up with each other where you're going, ooh, 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 you like that car? I shall get it for you, my love. Not the old soulmate relationships because you can have levels of soulmates that are pretty crappy. Okay. And this is also why the evolution of love is here to support you, especially women. Women in increasing numbers are finding that they are homeless. They can't create like a place to live. They feel stuck in financial situations and they're burdened. They're burdened with caretaking of others. This is some of the deepest root stuff, palming things off onto others, whether it's like sticking them somewhere, um, giving them up somehow and you know some of that self-sacrificing thing that you shouldn't have to do because those are old patterns now this doesn't just happen to women it happens to men it happens to lesbians it happens to gay people it happens to trans people it happens to intersex people okay wherever along the spectrum you might identify the patterns are the same and we're all experiencing evolution of love okay now that might sound really trite like you know oh well yeah it's an evolution no as a human race we have an agreement to be here we have an agreement to get rid of our karma stop perpetrating stuff on each other give all things back to the rightful owners and we're talking energetically okay for it to happen in the physical sometimes that's beginning to happen but it may not be there yet it just may not be there yet and it may never be there but by using your light body you can still feel satisfied and filled with love because energetically you will get your essence back another thing is getting rid of hatred this is something that people cannot afford and if you take away anything from you know like the time of COVID, love in the time of COVID, right? I'm kind of paraphrasing a book, love in the time of cholera. Okay, you had a huge contraction. 
and then you had an expansion out. It's throwing off retailers, commerce, business, and people's hatreds are coming up in droves. If we don't get it out, you cannot evolve, okay? Those people got invaded multiple times and they got a lot of hatred. They were forced to beard the children of their invaders and those people got invaded so many times and they had to bear up under the occupiers and the invaders. And then has happened throughout history over and over and over until what? In the fourth dimension, it's normal? It's not normal. So we're getting back to what really is normal, which is love, like love at a level that feels like it comes in with its purity and supports you for what you need. I strongly recommend you don't pay attention to the world as much as possible. Exclude the world. Otherwise, you'll get lost in this stuff. You may not have the wherewithal or the bandwidth right now to really handle it. Your frequency needs to be tuned in to your true twin flame through the etheric body, through your body, through your sacred heart, through your dream time, and through your feelings. And a lot of things just don't cut it out there. They are not doing the job for you. It's time to gear up and really roll up your sleeves and come join the right way to do it because I'm going to go on a limb here and say, I feel like I have the right way of doing this because I see people getting results and having success. I see them getting rid of situations. I see them getting healthier. I see them level up with their health where even if they don't continue pursuing it, they don't fall back and get worse. They get rid of their addictions, okay? Now, that might seem like a real big laundry list of things, but it starts from somewhere. And it's gonna start with the thing that is your bone of contention. What is the shoe, the stone in your shoe? What's giving you trouble? What was your demise, okay? What hindered your love life from the universe, the cosmos, the earthly life? What hindered it or limited it to where you were saying to your other half, oh, hey, you're saying to your other half, oh, I, I, I've died. Oh, 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 oh my God. I feel grief. I want to die. No, no. Let's not do it that way. Let's get to earth pronto so we can get on that evolution of love bandwagon, get our new bodies and go adventuring again. Oh, I love you. That is so music to my ears. Everything you say is so melodic. Oh, you too. I just felt your surge of love energy the minute I said it. I'm alive. I'm alive. Yes. Come be alive again. Stop feeling like you're withering on the vine. And I'm going to remind everyone one more thing. We are here to make love, not war. If enough people are gearing up and unifying their light body, and I'm not talking about living with a soulmate. That is not union. I'm talking about the unification of your subtle bodies in opening your marma points to receive five through eighth love energy. You can't make love. I mean, you're not making the third energy. You're essentially slapping uglies together and it's localized. It is not going to give you that full body, mind blowing, out of body lovely experience that refreshes and recharges you. And yes, I also teach about that physical intimacy. It's not white Tantra. It is different. It is deeper and it involves the deepest and highest parts of you. So how's that sound? Let's make it simple, shall we? Just join my class. Join my four-part class so that you can get up and running and experience the difference. Thanks so much. Bye now.